Morning, go, or evening, great spread, and subscribe to everybody back along with us here with our Temperance Awakening and are giving a bit of a special report here, something very important. Of course, we are at Temperance Awakening. We're a ministry that helps people with uh, tobacco, alcohol, and pornography addictions. And we're very uh, anti-tobacco and want to keep track here of what's going on with tobacco. And uh, this here, looking back at that very popular 1998 settlement, uh, like where tobacco companies were finally held accountable, you know, for uh, damaging people's health, you know, the way that they did and so forth. And they had a settlement where they must uh, give... Uh, you know, uh, all the states, all the states and the District of Columbia, a sum of money. And now 24 years later, going to look at what's going on with that in the 2023 fiscal year. <clears throat> and all of the states combined, this is all 50 states and the District of Columbia combined, uh, they received a $26.7 billion, almost $27 billion total. And, of course, that varies depending on how large, you know, the population of the state and all is. Like California, you know, being the most populous, <coughs> they have around 40 million people. Then you have, a, like, Wyoming, which is the least populous state. They just have, like, a little more than half a million people. And so our amounts here are going to vary, but what we're going to look at here mainly is that percentage. What percentage of states are giving what the CDC recommends? And so we're going to look at all these states from number one, the state that's giving the highest percentage to uh, the lowest, to the lowest state. And so that's going to run from number one to 51 here. And so getting right into it here, and I'm asking also, I'm going to put in the, uh, going to put a link down in the description below, like I'm getting this uh, information from Tobacco com Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, as where I'm getting it from, and they will, uh, <clears throat> And uh, the link there, uh, you can go by, you know, and you can read all of those statistics for yourself and, you know, I encourage you to do that, you know, as well. So, you know, you have that there, you know, some of the stats that are read, read, read in front of you. <clears throat> and so now starting off with uh, number one, we have Oregon. So Oregon, they gave the highest percentage. They gave $53.1 million, and that is 100 and actually 135.1%. And so Oregon went above and beyond. And then we have number two, Maine, that gave $49.7 million, and they gave 100% of what the CDC recommends. This uh, money, that's one thing I meant to mention there, like uh, this money that they're using for, like tobacco prevention, you know, tobacco sensation, and, uh, you know, those types of programs, you know, for everybody, you know, especially, you know, kind of primarily, you know, for younger people like teenagers, you know, like programs, you know, to the school you know, to keep them from ever trying tobacco. And so that is uh, the money and the percentage that we're talking about here with the money that CDC recommends them to use for tobacco prevention or tobacco education. You know, we'll use the term tobacco education here to cover all of it. And then number three is the state of Utah. They gave $15.5 million, 80.3%. So right there, you know, only two states gave what the CDC recommended, that being Oregon and Maine. And then Utah, as I said, they gave a $15.5 million, 80.3% of what the CDC recommends for tobacco education. And then number four is Oklahoma. They gave $33 million, and that being 78% of what the CDC recommends. And then number five, we have Delaware, <clears throat> which gave $9.7 million, 74.5% of what the CDC recommends. So only the top four states even gave above 75%. And then number six, we have Alaska, which gave $6.5 million, that being 63.5%. So you got a, quite, the, uh, quite the drop there out of the top five going to six. You know, we're not even giving 65% of it. And the number seven, we have North Dakota, which gave $5.7 million, that being 58% of what the CDC recommends for tobacco education. And then number eight, we have California, and they gave $199.5 million, uh, that being 57.3% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. And then number nine is Hawaii. They gave $7.6 million, that being 55.3% of what the CDC recommends. The number 10, we have Colorado. They gave $24.7 million, 
And that 46.7% of what the CDC recommends to tobacco education. And so you see there, as soon as we get out of the top nine into number 10 Colorado, we're not even at 50%. So the remainder of these states, 10, and the District of Columbia, on down to number 51, they do not even give half of what the CDC recommends for tobacco education. <clears throat> And then number 11 is Maryland, and uh, they gave uh, $20.6 million, that being 42.9% of what the CDC recommends. Number 12 is Connecticut, they gave $13.6 million, that being 42.6% of what the CDC recommends. Number 13, Florida, they gave $77.7 .7 million, that being 40% of what the CDC recommends. Number 14, South Dakota. And they gave uh, $4.5 million, now that being 38.5% of what the CDC recommends. And then number 15 is Montana. They gave uh, $4.9 million, that being just 33.2% of what the CDC recommends. So we see you're starting at number 15 in Montana. We're all the way down to 33.2%. And number 16, Vermont, they gave $2.7 million, that being 32% of what the CDC recommends. Number 17, Wyoming, they gave $2.5 million, that being 29% of what the CDC recommends. The number 18, Idaho, they gave $4.4 million, that being 28.5% of what the CDC recommends. Number 19, being Arizona, they gave $17.7 .7 million, that being 27.5% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco prevention. And then number 20 is New Mexico. They gave $5.7 million, that being 24.9% of what the CDC recommends. He 24.9%, so just right here now, starting at number 20, we've already gone below, let's see, yeah, like we've already gone below, you know, 25%, uh, so only 19 states, you know, only 19 states even gave a quarter of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. The number 21 is Arkansas. They gave $9 million, that being 24.5% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. Number 22, Mississippi. They gave $8.7 million, that being 23.8%. Number 23, Minnesota. They gave uh, $11.7 million, that being 22.1%. And now number 24, New York. They gave $39.2 million being one of the more populated states, but they, that is only 19.3% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. So you see there, starting here at number 24, just before we're halfway done, uh, we're giving below 20%. So the District of Columbia and uh, about half the states, they did not even give 20% of what the CDC recommends for tobacco education. And number 25 is the District of Columbia, and they gave $1.9 million, that being 17.8% of what the CDC recommends. Number 26, Iowa, they gave $4.3 million, that being 14.2% of what the CDC recommends. Number 27 is North Carolina, they gave $13.4 million, that being 13.5% of what the CDC recommends. Number 28, the state of Virginia, they get $11.9 million, that being 13% uh, of what the CDC recommends, or could I maybe say the Commonwealth of Virginia. <clears throat> number 29, the state of Nebraska, they give $2.6 uh, $2 million, that being 12.4% of what the CDC recommends. Number 30, Nevada, they gave $3.5 million, that being 11.5% of what the CDC recommends. Number 31, Ohio. And they get $14.8 million, that being 11.2% of what the CDC recommends. And then number 32, Pennsylvania, they gave $15.5 million, that being 11.1% of what the CDC recommends. Number 33, the state of Washington, which gave $6.6 .6 million, that just being 10.3% of what the CDC recommends. And then we have number 34, Indiana, who gave $7.5 million, that being 7, uh, 10, I'm sorry, 10.2% of what the CDC recommends. And then number 35, we have the state of South Carolina, which gave $5 million, which is just 9.8% of what the CDC recommends. So I see here number 35, all the way down to number 51, they did not even give 10% of what the CDC recommends. 
Number 36, the state of Wisconsin, and they gave $5.3 million, that being 9.2% of what the CDC recommends. And then tied, actually, at also at number 36, is, this, is the uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, which gave $6.1 million, and that also 9.2% of what the CDC recommends. The number 38, the state of Louisiana, gave $5.1 million, that just being 8.6% of what the CDC recommends. Number 39, the state of Illinois, they gave $10.1 million, that just 7.4% of what the CDC recommends. Number 40, the state of New Jersey, which gave $7.1 million, just to being 6.9% of what the CDC recommends. <clears throat> and then we got number 41, the state of Missouri, they gave uh, $2.9 million, and that just being 3.9% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. So that means here actually number 41 to number 51, that being 11, 11 of our U.S. states did not even give 4%. We're below 4% in giving. Number 42, the state of Kansas, which gave a million dollars, right at $1 million, 3.6%. Number of 43, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, which gave $2 million, that just being 3.5% uh, of what the CDC recommends. And that's tobacco education. Then uh, number 44, the state of Rhode Island, which only gave $415,452, that just being 3.2%. And then uh, number 45, the state of Alabama, $1.7 million, which is a 3.1% of what the CDC recommends. <clears throat> then uh, number 46, the state of New Hampshire, uh, they gave $490,000, that at 3%. 47, the state of Tennessee, which gave $2 million, that just 2.6%. Number 48, the state of Georgia, they gave $2.1 million, which is just a 2% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. Number 49, the state of Michigan, they gave uh, $1.8 million, at just 1.7%. The number 50, the state of West Virginia, who only gave $445,000, that just being 1.6%. West Virginia, we can note, is, uh, is actually the state that has the highest, and now has the highest overall tobacco use when you include smoking, you know, dipping snuff, chewing tobacco, everything. The number one of the most use there, and not doing much to change that. And then lastly, at number 51 is the state of Texas, which gave $3.5 million at just 1.3% of what the CDC recommends in tobacco education. So the question then becomes, uh, what can we draw from these stats? And it's going to have to be very educated to tell that states aren't giving that much. As a whole, not really giving much at all. There are only two states that gave at least 100%. <clears throat> and then there were, what, only five states that gave, you know, that gave uh, that gave at least, you know, 70, you know, that gave at least 70%. You know, like we said, the great, great majority of states, you know, in the District of Columbia from number 10 all the way down to, you know, no, all the way down to the 51st state did not even give half, didn't even give half. You know, and then like we said, uh, you know, the majority of states in the District of Columbia, number 20, you know, 20 all the way down to 51, they did not even give a quarter. So only two states gave at least 100%. The, the other one highlight that I want to mention there is the state of Oklahoma, which uh, increased, which increased their giving here compared to previous years, uh, giving $33 million, 78%. That was one of the... That was one of the uh, biggest uh, the biggest uprises. Oklahoma has also been a state that's had some of the highest of, of tobacco use in, uh, in the USA. And so there are those stats for you. You know, a lot of work, you know, a lot of work to be done. You know, stay at the grind. You know, most, uh, despite everybody's greatly underperforming, you know, we'd have to say outside of two states, Oregon and Maine, everybody else really underperforming here, you know, in that uh, fiscal spending fiscal spending, uh, <clears throat> you know, junk, uh, you know, fiscal spending, you know, aspect. And so, as I said, I got the link description down the below for Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids. So you go over there, you know, when you can uh, read all of these stats, you know, for yourself. They got like an interactive map, you know, if you kind of want to key in, you know, on your own home state and so forth. I will encourage you to, uh, to do that. So uh, good statistics here for us to... Uh, for us to have in this knowledge, but you know, not uh, not what we want to be reporting here 
with that a uh, very low giving. <clears throat> and so, uh, as I said, you know, though you take these things, you know, you change your community uh, for the better. Greatly encourage you to do that. And thank you for tuning in and watching us here and uh, getting a hold of these stats. And we'll see you next time. Until then, until that I break in the shadows, feel away. I'm Dr. Cooper, and I love you, and I appreciate you.